Hello, this is Sandra Brown of Happiness Past 60. Just thought I'd do a little chit chat and share a little bit about what's been going on. Um, actually, it was um, uh, yesterday I lost another one of my friends. Uh, it was a girlfriend this time. Her name was Dinah. And uh, I knew Dinah uh, from grade school. I don't know how far back, but kind of as far back as I can remember. And teenagers together. Mostly that's what I remember is being teenagers together. And uh, spending the night at her house and her spending the night at my house. And, and um <laughs> We did some crazy stuff, you know, when you think about it. I'll share some of that later, but yeah, Dinah and I, um, I actually, I, I stood up for her when she, when she was married. It was in her parents' home and, uh, probably a JP, I can't remember. It seemed like after that period, we just didn't see each other anymore. I believe probably I got married because I was only 18 when I was married. And um, I moved to Texas for a little while on the Navy base and lived there. And uh, she went on with her life. I had two children. She had three children. Oh, I should say four. Three boys and a girl she had. And... Um, Ended up, it was a bad marriage, and I think it was abusive, you know. But uh, somewhere along the line there, she ended up divorced, and um, she married a wonderful man named Joe. And he became a good stepfather to her children, who they dearly loved him. And um, Joe passed on, and... Dinah was widowed, and she's just missed Joe so badly ever since then. Her health has not been good. We did manage to get together. Well, we've been on the phone. We, we've talked on the phone a few times and reminisced and laughed over stuff. And she, when we laughed and talked, it felt just went back to being teenagers again and all the fun stuff. But she ended up, uh, well, okay, I should say, we did meet at Cracker Barrel one day. In fact, I'm trying to find that picture. I know I have it somewhere, but you know how they get lost in your phone? But we did meet one day, and uh, she looked so good, and we had breakfast and talked and reminisced. It was so nice, but I couldn't seem to get her out after that. And also, my husband, my hus deceased husband, uh, Larry, he had Alzheimer's and I, I couldn't really get out. And so we only contact we had off and on was just on Facebook. And uh, which that happens sometimes. But then I seen where she was in a nursing home and uh, I didn't call right away. I don't, but I did call there, but when I did, her daughter, Roberta, answered the phone and uh, I asked if her mother was able to even talk or just listen. And she says, I'm not even sure she would could hear your voice. And they said that they were setting her up for hospice. So she wanted to go home. She was insistent about going home. And, and you know, they do that. And sometimes when they're in a really bad shape and and you could share with me if you've had that experience. They want to go home to die. And she missed her husband, Joe, and she had been dreaming about him. And uh, thank God her children got her home. And she hadn't been home no more than an hour. And she passed away. Uh, peaceably. And... Um, I remember I was messaging back and forth with her daughter, Roberta, and, and when she told me they were going to have hospice and, at the house and she wanted to go home, and I said, don't be surprised if she 
doesn't last any time at all when she gets home because that's all she's waiting for. She doesn't want to die in that hospital. I don't think any of us do. We want to go home. And uh, sure enough, that's what happened. But oh, God comforted her heart because she was a good mother and and uh, they lost the stepdad and Joe and now they've lost their mother. Something we go through, don't we? I have went through it. And most of us have. If we haven't, we will. But we'll get through it. And you know, I have to... I remember when I lost both of my parents, when they were both gone, I had this feeling like being an orphan. <laughs> Even though I was an adult, it was, it was the strangest feeling. So, anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. And one thing about it, folks... <laughs> As I was saying before, as a Christian, I feel like we all have the same father. This is just my feelings, okay? In which we do. We all have the same father in heaven. And this down here, this life, part of it is test. Because it's going to determine where we're going to go. So, this is not heaven down here. This is not. We sure try to make it heaven. We all do. We try to make ourselves as comfortable as we can and, and keep trying to correct everything around us. But it's not going to get corrected totally. We can have some wonderful, peaceful times, yes, but it's not going to be perfect. So don't be upset or disappointed when it's not. Just we have to learn to live with it. But I think about, like, our father moved away. And we're all going to end up, like, let's say we're going to all move to Florida. Like, well, when we retire, we're all going to move to Florida. All my family's there. All my friends are there. We're all going to be together. So that's kind of how I think about it sometimes, like. All of us are going to be together up there. And it's the truth. And we're all going to be known as we are known. There's going to be no misunderstandings or anything. Just pure love and forgiveness. Ah. All young, all healthy. No death anymore. It's going to be wonderful. So it just makes heaven a little more sweeter, doesn't it? As each one of our family and loved ones go there. It gets sweeter. And to get there, you have to be born again. Born again. How do I do that? Well, it's not our flesh is born again, but our spirit. Our spirit is dead. But when we ask Jesus into our heart and receive what he did, like, Lord, I believe that you came, that you are God in the flesh, and that little baby in the manger. You came here to pay for all our sins, to die for all our sins. That's what you came for, God in flesh. Whew, what an amazing story. What a love. I mean, all he had to do was wipe us out, just with a wave of his hand, wipe us all out. But he didn't. That's how much we're a great treasure to him. We're made in the image of God. So, if you haven't received him, do. And if you have already and you've lost someone, they're just on the other side of this veil. We, we can't see them right now, but we will. But our work's not done, folks. So don't get down. Don't get down. We're soldiers of the Lord. We can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. And he does. So, my friend, Dinah, I'll see you one day, and I'll see all of you that are Christians. It's not over. We're going to see each other again. Won't it be fun? I, we'll have all the time in the world. I could sit down and talk with all you guys. Maybe we'll have a little picnic together. It'd be great. Okay, love all of you. Bye now.
Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. A lot of you have been watching and haven't subscribed. It's totally free, never will cost anything. And if you subscribe, um, you'll be not notified when I put a new video up so you won't miss any. Okay, folks. Love you. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to tell one story, but <laughs> Diana and I, when we were young, I don't know how old we were, but, oh, I'm guessing 16, 17 years old, maybe. <laughs> Jeez. And by the way, <laughs> my hair looks horrible today, I know. It's just a bad hair day. All right. It was good yesterday, but I wasn't filming. <laughs> how it goes. Anyways, Dinah and I, you remember there were drive-in theaters for you or that are younger, you don't know. Maybe you don't know what they are, but this is how, that was a big thing for us. It was a great place to go with your boyfriend. <laughs> you did a lot of kissing and hugging in those places and very little movie watching probably. <laughs> but it's just how it was. But Dinah and I ended up with a, uh, a couple boys that we met. And I'm telling you, I, I don't remember their names or anything about them. But I remember she was in the back seat with one boy and I was in the front seat with another, the driver. And as the, they were kind of fresh, you know, that like you're trying to keep their hands off of you. You're just like, like, geez, that's enough. And so what are you going to do? You don't have a car. You don't have a cell phone. You have no way of getting out of this situation. And it wasn't like, it was horrible, but it was getting really uncomfortable. So they asked us if we wanted something from the refreshment stand. And we told them what we wanted, you know, a hot dog, pop, uh, maybe popcorn, <laughs> I know, all this stuff, right? So they left. And now, of course, we can talk about our situation. And in the conversation, we both said, and I, I remember saying to Dinah, go, is he, is this guy fresh? And she goes, yeah. I go, he is too. And I can't remember what their names are. So we were like thinking, how are we going to get out of this? We didn't really like them and we wanted to get out of this car. But it's night. We're in a drive-in, but leave it to Dinah. She knew every car who it belonged to. Knew the make, model. She was really good about that. I didn't know what anybody drove, hardly paid no attention. My dad was a car salesman. He drove a different car home every night. I just didn't pay attention. It meant nothing to me, but she did. So she said, you know, and I know what, I, their names were Raleigh and Bob. So, uh, I had one out with Bob. I think his name was Bob Orange. My maiden name was Brown, yeah, Bob Orange Brown. <laughs> and, and his name, the other guy's name was Ra Raleigh. All right, so she said, I seen their car. And I said, you did? And she goes, yeah, their car is here. And I'm like, she goes, and we decided, I don't know whose idea it was, we decided that we were gonna go and we were gonna escape from these guys and while they were in the concession stand, and we were gonna go to Raleigh and Bob's car. Well, what if Raleigh and Bob had a girl? <laughs> what were we thinking? And so we just go, yeah, let's do it, let's go. And we jumped out of the car, and then <laughs> we're running through the driveway, all bent all bent over, going, you know, so that the guys won't see us if they come back. 
and we're going through all his cars and sure enough she found the car but Raleigh and Bob were not in the car now what if Raleigh and Bob were with two girls and they all went to the concession stand the washrooms and they're going to come back and what do we do the car is unlocked we just got in the car I got in the front seat because it was Bob's car. She got in the back seat. And what were we thinking? I don't know. And, but, as it was, Bob and Raleigh were at the drive-in. Just the two guys with no girls. They came back and they're going. And they had food. They had hot dogs and all kinds of stuff. And... They said, Sandy, Dino, what are you guys doing here? And we told them what happened. These guys, you know, were getting fresh with us and we just had to get away from them. So we watched the movie with Bob and Raleigh and we ate hot dogs and popcorn because I think they probably got two hot dogs because they're guys. I don't know what happened with those other guys. I could imagine them coming back and they must have ate a lot of hot dogs and popcorn and waited a long time. They probably think we went to the washroom or something. They probably can't imagine how, how could these girls just leave? Are they in the washroom? Or I don't know. That was probably the wrong thing for us to do, but don't judge me. I, uh, we were just kids, crazy kids. But that was just one of our stories. But we did a lot of goofy stuff. We would, I spend the night at Dinah's house and we would be in her bedroom and act like we were asleep. And then we would go out the window. And <laughs> go out the window be, well, it was safer in those days, but we'd go out the window. We walked everywhere. We would walk for miles and just not think a thing of it. I don't ever remember being tired or, yeah, nothing. Or my legs hurting or my feet hurting, nothing, just... Yes, we'd go and just get into all kinds of scrapes and fun, but we had a good time together. And I miss her. I really do. We, toward the end, never got to spend much time together, but we still have all those memories. And, there, you know, I, I can't share that with anyone, so I'm sharing it with you. I can't talk it over with her and laugh like we used to. Okay, just thought you might enjoy that little story. Hope you don't think any less of me. I wasn't really a Christian then. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>